Hello everyone. So in this video, we'll go over one more problem from lead code. The problem name is get watched videos by your friends. Fine. So let us move down to the problem statement. It states that there are n people. Each person has a unique ID between zero to n minus one. Fine. Given the array watched videos and friends. So now two arrays are given to you as you can see in the input, a watched video array and a friends. Now what these array define is that where watched videos I and friend of I contains the list of watched videos and the list of friends respectively for the person with ID I. Now, if you just understand this more clearly, it states that there are different persons from zero to N minus one. That is fine. So for the first person, these are the movies that the first person has watched. That is a movie named A and B. Okay. The, uh, then the second person, the, the ID with one has watched only movie C. Then the third person with ID two has watched movie B and C and respectively all of that. And the first person that is with the ID zero has friends with the IDs one and two. Now you can see here that the person with ID zero are the friends with one and two. The person with ID one is with friends zero and three. So zero and three, the person with friend two is with uh, like our uh, friends with zero and three ID two, as well as the person with ID three is with friends one and two. So this is how the friends map is computed using this friends uh, array. And now what you have to give in this problem is going like started from here paragraph level one of the videos are all watched videos by your friends. So all the videos watched by your friends is level one. Now level two of the videos are all watched by your friends of your friends. So friends of your friends. So like level two or like friends of friends, then friends, 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 uh, you got the point. So these are different levels. So you start at some particular ID, you are given that you are ID and level of video. So you are given that maybe you are the person five. Okay. And you have to find out that at your level three friends, what all movies they have seen. Got it. And also you have to find out like, let's say that you are like, you are given that you are an ID person three and from three, you have to go two levels down like your friends and then your friends, friends. And whatever movies they have seen, you have to find out their frequency. So let's say like one friend has watched movie A and B. Another friend has watched movie B and C. So these are the two friends, let's say. So you are seeing that A and B and B and C. So B is watched twice. A is watched one time. C is watched one time. So you have to print out the whole movies according to their frequency. Like which movie is watched the maximum. I think so is, is printed first. Uh, you can see that no. So the movies that is watched the least is first printed then the movies that is the more wasted, like, like more watched is printed like this. So it is printed by the frequencies from smallest to the largest. So yeah. And if the same frequencies are there, then printed by the alphabetic order. So I hope you get the point. Now you can pause this video, try to think over the solution. It's not too difficult to understand if you have some idea of maps as well as traversal idea. Yeah, that is it. Like nothing much more. Uh, the first idea you have to uh, think is ki, okay. You have to find out or you, you like if the map is formed because they're already seen like explained in the example only that it should form a map. Okay. Now if going through the examples, always, always, always go through the examples because that will actually give you some idea. Okay. Now what you'll see here is that in the first example, that is a map that is formed. You can form using these uh, like uh, values that are given to you. ID means that you start at the zeroth index that uh, you are a zero index person and you have to go to level one. So level one is just your friend. So one and two. Now one and two, like ID one and two has watched C and BC. Okay, C and BC. And then you find out the frequencies and then sprint them out. Similarly, now if the same map is there, but you have to find out for level two. Level two is this. So level one is this. Level two is this friend. There is only one friend down there. And uh, so that person has only watched movie D. So you have to print that. Now, the first thing is like the first thing which comes to my mind is, okay, I have to find out the levels. So when I do a level traversal in a map, what is that? The le like level traversal in a map can be done by BFS. So if you haven't studied BFS, I highly recommend to first like leave this video out or like make it paused and then understand what is BFS. Try to understand, go through one or two examples, understanding how BFS is done, how a queue is taken or all of that. If you understand and well versed with BFS, then it will become very easy now. So you have to do BFS 
and which means that in BFS you have to travel in levels. So you have to go to the nth level or the kth level that is given to you in the problem statement and you reach the level, you have all the movies down there when you reached in the graph. Now you have all the movies When you have all the movies you have to print like you have to store that into some frequency map. Okay, like I have these movies like add them in some frequency map or you can use some map when all the movies are there. Then you have to like sort these movies out by the frequencies and then print it out. Nothing much that nothing much complicated the like the thing you have to understand in this problem is how the problem is given. Actually, I got confused earlier like how this is like taken like watch videos on this like how the actual data is given to you. But when you understand that you directly get the intuition that it is BFS and then after BFS you just have to find out the frequencies and just sort it out and print it out. So nothing much I don't have to explain much. You just have to traverse using BFS and uh, in the first level, second level and so on. So if you have clear idea BFS, you will understand the code part. But if you haven't, then BFS take a queue and from one level to another level, it pushed all the like nodes from well, like if you it's on the ith level, then one move from i to i plus one level, it will push all the nodes in the i plus one level in the queue. And then when all the nodes are pushed, then it iterate over all the i plus one levels, all the nodes are there. And then it try to push all the i plus two levels in the queues and so on. That is how it moves around. So I directly move down to the code part so that it will become more clear, but it is not, not much difficult to understand. Uh, this is an unordered map. You can also make a map, nothing much different. That will store string to integer. That is used to find out or store what are the movies on the ith level when we'll reach down there. Okay, this is a queue. Okay, for queue is for actually uh, for doing the BFS part. So we'll start from the ID. Okay, this is the ID and this is the level on which we are because we have to stop at certain level. So this is the ID from which we have to start. This is also given in the input ID. And then we have to mark it as one because it is an undirectional map. We have to also keep track of the direction like uh, which nodes are already traveled so that we do not push them into the queue so that it will not become like overlooking. Okay, we'll do an iterate over till the queue is not empty. We'll pop up the first element, pop it out. Then when we have popped out, the second value is the level. So we have to see that whatever element are pop popping out, the level is there. Is this element has the level which I want? the level I want is this level. So if on the second iterator, so P dot second is equal to the level, then what I'll do. So this person is the person I want. I'll iterate over all the movies that person has watched. So we have the index of that person because we are iterating over the indexes. We'll go to that index, like string index and take out all the movies that person had watched and iterate like, like increment that person watched movies in this videos map and increment it by one. I hope you get the point. So take that person which has the particular level I want, iterate over all the movies that person has watched and like increment the, it, their count in the map so that in the end we can iterate over that. Similarly, if you are not on that, that the person we want, then what we'll do, we'll take that person and from that person we'll go to the all the other person like push that into the queue from one level to the next level. So we'll take the particular like element we have popped out, move over, move over all its friends and what we'll do if the particular friend is not visited, will first mark it as visited and push that particular new friend into the queue by incrementing the level. Because if you're on the first level, let's say, then the, for the next person, we have to increment the level. So index is there, that is there, that is pushed, but the level will also increase by one. Keep that in mind. So that is how the whole BFS thing is working out. After this whole BFS, we have stored all the frequencies of the movies watched at the kth level by all the friends in this movies map. So what we'll do, we have to find out particular movies along with their frequencies. So what we'll do, we'll make a, so that we can sort it out. So make a vector and uh, like store them. So first, because I want to like sort them by their frequencies. So thus the first value is integer, like it's a pair of string and integer. The first value is the frequencies and the next value is the movie name. So we'll first like move over all the movies that are stored in video and from that map, take all the movies out and store them into the frequency vector. So what I'm doing is and pushing back says that I dot second and I dot first. It means that placing the frequency first and then the movie name. Fine. That is how you can directly do the sorting. Then directly sort them out because now because the sorting is done in such a manner that it will first sort by the first parameter and then the second parameter. And we want in the same manner only that we have to first sort by the first parameter that is the frequencies. If the frequency is same, sort by the second parameter that is name. And because it is given that if the same frequency sort order like order by the alphabetic order, so that is also done. 
So that is how you can directly use sorting function. You don't have to write a comparator function if you pushed the movies as well as frequencies in this particular manner. Now, after sorting is done, you have the movies sorted out by the frequencies. Just make a new answer string because you have to print out all the movies. Iterate over this movies vector, like that has stored out all the frequencies and push these movies from like that particular vector to this answer vector that we have to like return and just return out the answer. So that is the whole thing. Like the more overall crux for this problem is this, that is the BFS. And then after that, it is becomes very comparatively very easy to like do this part. And then that's how the whole problem goes. Okay. So we have gone through the whole explanation part as well as the code part for this video. Thank you for watching this video till the end. I will see you next one till I keep coding and bye.